Are we here? We is are. That, is that Ted Neely or is that just an imposter? It, it's definitely an imposter. And that's a very successful TV show, by the way, the imposter. I'm one of those guys. All right. Hey, everybody, uh, we're starting a little early today. If you're on Facebook, uh, welcome. I'm Frank Munoz. Uh, there's Ted Neely and Tessa Neely right there. We're getting ready. Hi, guys. It's the pregame show. We're going to go over all the wide receivers and the quarterback ratings. Can everybody hear us? Hey guys, just one second, sorry. <laughs> uh, we are here. Hello, Facebook. All right. Uh, Jesus had to get his wine. Hey, well, Ted. I just made it today, so. Listen, happy anniversary. Everybody. 40, 47 years ago today, the movie came out, Jesus Christ Superstar, in movie theaters here in America. Back then, if, it, if we could go back in time, we'd go get a ticket. Probably cost us $2 to get in, right? Uh, I, I'm a bargain matinee guy. So I probably would have paid 75 cents and just stayed in the theater and snuck in and watch it over and over again, which <laughs> I bet you a lot of the fans who are watching this did that back in 73. That's why probably the movie didn't, wasn't the big box office bonanza that it was hoping it would be. But over time, it's become a classic film that is loved all over the world. So uh, happy anniversary. Everybody. I just opened an old bottle of Brut. It's not 47 years old, but I'm not driving, so I'm drinking today. Hey, so listen, before we get all your buddies and all your castmates and crew and friends on here, let me just start. We have an announcement to make. You have an announcement to make. So what, we, what you are going to be doing in 2020, you have decided to do, and we'll explain all of this here in a second, is you are going to be doing some concerts in September in California. And what it's gonna be, you're gonna be singing live. It's gonna be three nights. And this is in Ventura County. And this is all to benefit the Rubicon Theater that is very close to your heart. Can you tell us a little bit about the Rubicon Theater and this project that you're going to be doing? Rubicon Theater is something that we started uh, uh, because two dear friends of mine, a husband and wife, Jim and Carolyn, they decided they didn't want to be turned down at, 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 at auditions anymore. So we started a theater company and we did a concert. They asked Carl and I to put up a concert of Superstar, which we did to raise funds to get to begin the, the theater company. And now it's almost 30 years later and it's doing great. Of course, they're lo locked down like everybody else. So we're doing a big fundraiser. It's, it's, it's a drive-in concept in this huge arena. It's people will be driving in in their cars and sitting and watching us. And what we're doing is called Music of the Nights. And the Nights being Paul McCartney. Oh, you got it right there. Paul McCartney, Elton John, and Andrew Lloyd Webber hits from their, their books, and uh, we're going to be singing those, and uh, it will be available whenever we finish it. It's, it's the 7th, 8th, and 9th of September. Uh, and uh, at, the, at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, and right. starting tomorrow, we're going to post on all your social media pages how to get tickets for this. Now, let me just tell everybody that you have to be in a car, no exceptions, <laughs> you just can't walk up, um, and the good, here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is that you will be singing live in California for the audience. It's a live thing, but here's the, there's the bad news is the bad news is there's not going to be a VIP thing. It's not going to be like the screenings or the shows where um, afterwards there's a meet and greet. Um, you know, we're still in the lockdown. We're still in a pandemic. So that is just not going to be happy. We just want to let everybody know so they don't get their hopes up that they'll be able to go to this 
and hang yeah. out. And stuff like and that. Even those of we who are on the stage are doing it distancing. We're all six feet apart while we're performing. Uh, and it's interesting. Uh, I've never performed in a drive-in before. And uh, th this arena is not really a drive-in, but it's a drive-in concept. And the, the, sta the stage itself is huge and it's in the center. So it's surrounded by people. And the way they applaud is they uh, honk their horns if they like what we've done. So um, it, it's a great thing to be able to do it. And it's certainly a, for Superstar. And, and Frank, tell them what's going on regarding Superstar on TV as we speak. Well, I mean, we, we posted this a couple of times. Uh, the, the channel, the cable channel Showtime has put Jesus Christ Superstar on their rotation. So a lot of fans have already seen it. If you have Showtime, check your local listings. Uh, it's plain. It's the digital high definition print. It looks great. And um, listen, the, the, the movie is still as popular today as it ever was. And uh, as soon as this whole pandemic is over, we've already spoken about uh, going out and continuing doing our sing-along shows, our sing-along screenings. Um, we've talked maybe- Those are great. Those are so much fun. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely gonna go back to like our, our spot in Yellow Springs, Ohio. We'd love to go back to Cleveland. Uh, up here in Northern California, we had a great, great sing-along in Livermore. Um, and obviously Southern California, we'd love to do stuff down there. So. But we're not going to do it until we can do it right, which means the VIP receptions and the meet and greets and all that stuff. And, and obviously fans getting their TED hugs. So um, <laughs> once that happens, we'll let you know. But for now, um, again, September 7th, 8th, 9th, that's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You will be performing live at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. It's a drive-in concert. And we will let everybody know how to get, them how to get their tickets. Uh, again, you need to be in a car. So that's the main thing you got to realize. But you can, you know, get a bunch of Ted heads together and, uh, and, and go in there and, and rock out. So um, that's what we got going on. We want to announce it. And like I said, we'll have all the details uh, starting tomorrow as far as how you can get tickets. That's great. Awesome. Hi, guys. That's Neely. Happy 47th anniversary, Jesus Christ Superstar. I'm just going to toast to you guys now that I'm here. Sorry about that earlier. I was running the Zoom on the back end. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're so happy to have you. This is going to be, we're really excited to have everyone. We've got about, what, 20? 20 22, 22 folks joining us. And, and we, there may be a couple of surprises along the way we don't know yet. We don't want to say anything. But there's a few uh, very important folks that, that uh, were a part of this project and movie um, that may be joining us, too. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, other things to, um, hey, Ted, you were telling me earlier that since this uh, pandemic, you've been very, very careful being at home, staying at home. You've been going through some of your archives. And I know you've been texting me some stuff that you found along the way in some of these boxes. Yeah. And we're going to make these, these things available for the folks, obviously reproductions of them. But you found you sh were showing me a flyer of, of the Universal Amphitheater with you and Carl and Heather McRae, right? You found that one. And then you found a, it was like an um, industry flyer for the Academy Awards for this film. I've never seen that before. Can you explain that a little bit? I, I... The, the whole thing was that the, there were many nominations and uh, Norman, you know, bless his heart was one of the key guys of that particular year. Universal was saying that it was going to be the, by far the most successful film of the history of the, of the studio. And uh, I was able to, um, through your friends uh, who do all of these sales all the time, to, to be able to pick up a bunch of great eight by tens that had been taken all black and whites from, thank goodness, David James, who was there to take photographs of every second that we sneeze or whatever we did, he got it, you see. So, and he's gonna be here today too, by the way. Great, great. So uh, again, we're going through, you're going through all these archives right now through your stuff. Yes. And we're going to pick a few that we want to make available to the fans. So yeah. um, we're hoping that we'll get that done by Christmas time. Is that oh, what we're looking Definitely. For? No question. Yes. Okay. And you'll be autographing all of them and we'll be putting them on the, on the yeah. website, on your gift shop. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Real quick. I just want to give a few shout outs to some of our viewers. 
Uh, I'm watching on the Facebook Live side. We're on Zoom, but I'm watching on Facebook Live. We've got Barbara Ray from Italy. Yay. Hi, Barbara. Ciao. We miss you. Thank you for joining us. We have Maike Hofstra from yeah. Holland. Hi, Maike. <laughs> Walter Castelli in Italy as well. Claudia from Mexico. Claudia, who's come to see a Superstar many times in Europe. We have Marty Ann Hale. Hi, Marty. Carme in Spain. Hey, Carme. Hey, Carme. Alan. Alan Mann. All right. There? Oh, I think someone's going to join us. Let's see. Someone our, is. Our favorite lady is going to show up here in a minute, I think. She's not. Hold on one second. <laughs> we're, 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 we're trying our best, folks. Yes. It's live and we're doing it, but we're, we're, we're going to make it happen. We're almost there. We know that it's been tough for everybody, literally. To, it's like Frank and I were talking last night about this is the longest we've ever been enclosed, you know, not out on the road somewhere. Right. And, and you know what we should do, Ted? We should, uh, we should give a shout out to all the fans who showed up in March in California, yeah, uh, San Jose, San Francisco, and Sacramento, and in Florida, uh, in Tampa, and Fort Lauderdale, and um, Orlando, which was our last screening before the, I mean, we literally shut down every city in Florida before the lockdown. Yeah, so I know the, we performed the next day we would leave, they shut down the city. <laughs> So I, I know it was, it was a little a little hairy there for you know whether we were going to do it or not, and uh, all all of the screenings turned out to be great. Yeah. So, uh, so, so you know a big shout out for everybody coming out, and I know like I said it was a little bit tough, and for those of you who didn't come out uh, because you were worried a little bit about what was going on and and you know safety and stuff, uh, you know we'll be back, and um, you know we'll we will make it happen again, and we will continue doing these uh, sing alongs as long as you guys want us to do them. And that's because every one we do is a celebration. It's, it's as if we're celebrating a birthday party every time we go in and do these screenings. And people come, some people come wearing costumes of their favorite character in the film. It just, and some people get up and dance. It, it just, it's wonderful. And the whole thing is that it's like being in this gigantic choir every time we do it because everybody is singing and it sounds absolutely wonderful. So if you haven't been to one of those, Think about it, consider it, you know, and it'll always be up and advertised on my website. So uh, whenever we're going to be, wherever we can be, uh, it will be there. And here's a, here's, a, here's a question for you. Here's an anniversary question for you, Ted. Where was the first time you saw the movie completed? Did you see it at Universal Studios? Did you see it at a movie theater? Do you remember? No, no uh, Norman had a special screening for us. Uh, and it was uh, family members and all that. In fact, my mom was there as well whenever we screened it. I remember specifically during a, the lashes sequence, she had to leave the theater. She couldn't take it. Wow. She, and 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 people ask her afterwards, you know, Ms. Ms. Neely, why why did you leave? Were you upset? Well, I, that was my son, and I I've never whipped him, and I couldn't handle somebody else whipping him like that either. You see, that's how she, you know, you know, she loved everything about it, but she just couldn't take that visual, you know. But it was wonderful. Everybody was incredible. And it's been that way ever since. I, I, you know, we've been in Europe now for five and a half years during the, the Italian production of Superstar. And I tell you, everybody in that part of the world, there's crazy, if not more so, about this film than everybody anywhere else. They just, there are people in Italy alone who've seen it over a hundred times and they just keep coming back. It's just absolutely magnificent. So we had no idea that it was gonna be this well-received worldwide, but my goodness, people are still singing these songs. And now we have three and four generations of the same families who are coming together to see it. <laughs> and we see that at every sing-along. You know, we see, we see people who saw it when it first came out in the theaters 47 years ago. We've seen folks who, who watched it on VHS uh, folks who have watched it on television, like myself, I saw it on television for the first time. And, um, you know, the thing is with television, you, you, it, it cut off, I'd say, 60% of the, of the picture because it was a square thing. Oh, yeah. So the, the print that we show on the sing-along is, is the actual original print that Norman had envisioned. 
So um, it, it is a 70 millimeter print. You get to see everything that was shot. So, um, you know, that's another, another reason to come out and see these sing-alongs is you get, you get the actual entire film in amazing, amazing sound and amazing picture. So it's, it's, it's something to see. And Frank, would you tell them real quickly how you first got your copy of the soundtrack album? When you were a little bitty guy? Yeah, I got the soundtrack before, the, uh, before I ever saw the movie. And I literally uh, stole it off my sister, Martha. Um, <laughs> and I played it on my turntable. I never gave it back. So that was my first introduction to rock and roll. And um, ever since, uh, yeah, I made a living out of it. So yeah, for those good. of you who don't know, uh, Frank has been with Metallica for what? 150 years now, Frank? Was it? Feels like it. <laughs> um, about 20, 23 huh? years. Yeah, he's been with Metallica hey, for 22 the, years touring the world. So uh, he, he's definitely an on the road dude. If you have any questions about what life is on the road, that's the man who can tell you all about it. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yes, um, sir. yes, sir. All right. So we are wait. We, we got some some of your uh, castmates on the waiting list here to come on in. So if we can bring him in, Tessa. He's uh, right over there. Sweetheart, we got to bring him in now. I guess she just quit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so the, this music of the Knights with a K is a celebration of Andrew Lloyd Webber's music, Sir Paul McCartney and Elton John, which obviously the three of them you had, you've had a connection with obviously with Weber, with Superstar. Uh, yes. You were in Sgt. Pepper's with McCartney and Lennon overseeing everything. This is in New York in yes. 78, 78, 79. And then Elton and then, was one whenever he first was out here, uh, when he first, his career first began, and he was playing at the Troubadour in Hollywood. Were you yeah. at that? Yeah. I oh, was wow. Yeah. Now, yeah. Didn't, you, didn't you hijack his band yeah. when you recorded Paradise yeah. in 75? It was his, his band was played. They were the guys who made it work. They didn't really need me, but I, I figured what the heck, I'll sing along, you know. Well, you're the guy on the album cover, so. <laughs> yeah, they weren't available when we did the pictures. That's, that's the only reason why. And it worked with Davey John, you know, when we went out for the meatloaf thing, Davey was already okay. on that one. So right. yeah, it's a great spirit. So, I mean, we can, we can, we can tell everybody that one of the songs that you'll be doing every night at this at this concert, the striving concert, is obviously Gethsemane. What? So Gethsemane, have you ever heard that one? What get get who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody wants to hear that one, definitely. Yeah. Okay, great. And that's your it's gonna be a live band playing with you. Yes, rock group. Fantastic, fantastic. So once again, if you guys joined us late, Ted is going to be doing three live shows in Ventura County, at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, September 7, 8, and 9. It's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a drive-in. You need to have a car to get in. And starting tomorrow, we will be sending the link to get your tickets to be able to come and see Ted. Once again, we want to remind everybody, no meet and greet, sorry, no VIP. It's literally, you're in your car, you're going to watch the show. Um, one of the people who's, who's going to be singing with you is a gentleman named Davis Gaines, who was known as one of the Phantom of the Operas, right? And he'll be doing his Phantom of the Opera songs on there as well. Yes, he did. I think they said something like 3,000 performances in New York on Broadway. Did you see that it? Show. So uh, he's the headliner. He's great. He's, he's right. just incredible. Everybody's great. Fantastic. They're all, they're all the Broadway people, and every one of them have worked the in link? the Rubicon Theater Company in some play, some musical, something they've done. So, just so all of you know, Rubicon, just even though Yvonne it's a small theater in a fine. small town, it is equal in quality, overwhelmingly, so phone, to anything that's been done on Broadway. In some cases, even better. So, that's why we're doing this because we want. The Rubicon yeah, the, to the stay alive better, forever and ever and ever. Yeah, that, that's your that's your quote unquote home theater. That's uh, right. Down here in Southern California. So uh, obviously, you know, you're very conscious about being safe and doing a concert, and this is how you're going to do it. But this is a very special occasion for you. It so is. Um, 
and everybody, as I said, we're practicing social distancing. Okay. The, the band is as well. Everybody has to be separated. Everybody is okay, when you're ready? not performing, you we have the masks on. We're not even able to go out and talk to each other okay, without having Let me know when you're ready. So uh, it's something that I'm really looking forward to. And I think it will be wonderful no, to see. No, I have see. you. I have you. And, 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 and go ahead. Yeah, you can say, do it on your you computer. Say, you, you, I was going to say, for those of you, obviously, who are overseas and uh, won't what? be able to make it out here to California, we'll be videotaping this. And uh, we'll be able to, to, to put the performance up on your social media pages uh, in the weeks to come. So uh, once again, September 7th, 8th, and 9th, if you want to see Ted live on stage, um, we, will, uh, we will send you the link and the, all the ticket information uh, starting tomorrow. And I have one question before we jump in here. Uh, and this goes out to Barbara Rea in Italy. I'd just like to know, dear Barbara, if you have the entire circle turning group there in your home watching this. <laughs> or have you, rented, does. have you rented some big theater somewhere where you can all see it up on a big screen? Knowing you, you probably have done that. We miss you terribly. We miss everybody terribly. And we hope everyone is feeling okay. That, that this thing hasn't bothered you. You're safe and sound. And I can't wait to get back over there and scream and holler with you again. And, and li listen, there has been, not to get everybody, anybody excited out there in Europe right now, because it's not confirmed, but you are in talks with possibly going back and doing the show again when the time is right out there. So that may be something that may happen. Yes, absolutely right. We've been told by our wonderful producer, director, uh, Massimo Romeo Pipero, that uh, whenever things do happen to open again, he wants to open with okay. the, our production of Jesus Christ Superstar because he tells me he's the world's biggest fan of the movie. So there you go. All right. Well, then he's probably tuning in right now. <laughs> us two yammering away as, as the rest of the crowd. How's Tessa doing in there? How, how's she doing? Are we uh... He's actually talking with Yvonne, I think. Okay. On <laughs> Trying to get it organized there as well. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, well, hey, Tessa, if uh, anybody else from the cast is in the waiting room, let's bring them in. Anybody else in the waiting room? All right, Yvonne's here. Sorry, guys. Some technical difficulties. Don't we love Zoom and, and internet, the internet? <laughs> all right, let's bring them in. There you are. We see you. So you got cue music coming in too. There she is. You got to unmute yourself. Okay. Tell her to unmute herself. Make sure she has the sound on. It's the silent version of Jesus Christ Superstar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we can't hear you, Yvonne. Yvonne's got a new microphone that she's testing out. If you guys didn't know, one of the things we're working on uh, during this whole pandemic is getting Ted and Yvonne hooked up with these microphones for their computers that they could possibly put together uh, some songs with a band, with the band Ultrasonic Rock Ar uh, Orchestra that we were gonna do the show in Boston. So she's, uh, she's getting her microphone set up uh, that she just got to uh, get this thing going. And you can see Ted's microphone right there on his- Right there. Yeah, so we're, that's the next thing we're working on. So just keep in, you know, keep in touch with uh, Ted's uh, social media pages and you never know, there might be a nice little duet popping up here or there, so. Yeah, so we were going to be doing a concert whenever this thing hit us. You know, we had planned for last Easter for, to have a, Four day weekend, uh, two nights of concerts and two nights of screenings in the Boston area, and we had to postpone them. So uh, we're really hot to get out there and do it, you know, as soon as we possibly can. And we're going to do, like Frank said, try to get this together so we can maybe do some of those in home things that people seem to be doing everywhere uh, to kind of preview what we're doing with the concert. So on your Facebook uh, comments there, if there's some song you'd like to hear, Ted and Yvonne. Hey, Right. Hello, Yvonne Elliman. Hi, hi. Can you hear me now? <laughs> we can hear you now. Happy, happy anniversary. Woo! Oh, I want some of that. <laughs> <laughs> happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary, indeed. It's How 40, are you? Uh, 47 years. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, honey. 
Here's my. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with it now. I don't know. You're, you're so. How, how's Hawaii treating you, Yvonne? Um, my life hasn't changed pretty much. It's pretty much the same way because when I was here before the pandemic, um, what we did was hang in the house all day to watch Mama. You know, because Mama's a hundred years old, and so that's what you have to do when somebody's that old. You know, you got to watch them all day long. And so uh, when when the pandemic hit, nothing changed. <laughs> Everything was pretty much the same. Um, so she's an actress, right? She has her own films. You're watching those all the time, is it? My mom? Yeah. Oh, she's an actor. Oh, she's an Academy Award winner, this one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Yvonne. Hi, Chad, you look great. Hi, Frank. Uh, hey, Yvonne. Hey, Yvonne. So we, we were talking about the first time you ever saw the film when it was released in 73. Do you remember? Did you, did you go to a premiere? Did you sneak into a movie theater? Did you pay for your own ticket? I was watching a, a cut of it. I was watching the movie, yeah. And Liza Minnelli came rushing in. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe, oh, can I sit next to you? Oh, this is fabulous. I'm just talking through, just through so much of it. It was like heavy duty energy, you know. Um, and that was the first time I saw it in public, I suppose. Um, I did go to a couple premieres where I went to the royal premiere in, in England and, and um, was standing in line, you know, to meet the princess. And uh, she, she was talking about her trip to, to Africa in, in a recent um, interview that I'd read. And so I knew we had something in common because I'd also been to a hot country, which was Israel. And so she said she had dysentery. So I said, oh, she said, how, how did you like it? I said, well, I, I liked it a lot, but I didn't like the flight. I didn't like the diarrhea. As soon as I said diarrhea, they whisked her away from me and I didn't get to say another word. So you almost got thrown out of your own premiere. That's very yeah. rock and roll. It's very <laughs> rock and roll, Yvonne Elliman. I, yeah, I was trying. I was trying to keep. You know, I was trying to keep the uh, the, the thing going on. Oh man! Hey, you know what? I'm ten o'clock in the morning over here. It's not fair. I just woke up two hours ago. Um, <laughs> hi. Are we talking? You look like, great for having you? just woke up, my dear. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, and you're up early for 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 you. You're up very early. What time is it there? I'm not up. You don't you don't get up past before two o'clock. So, so Yvonne, you're world. gonna be we're we're hopefully gonna be seeing a lot of your old co-stars, cast members, dancers, crew folks. So uh you know that's what's gonna happen today. And today today, today oh, yeah. Are we on on right now? Are people hey, you are on live? So uh, the cat is the cat it's a chill, it, you know it's a, it's an all ages show. So just you got to watch your language. Got it. Did you I are on that? Facebook Live right now, Yvonne. So say hi to everyone. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hi. Where's the end? <laughs> She'll be here She'll soon. She'll be here shortly. Heard her giggle. And, and Yvonne, and so we have people all over everywhere watching, especially in Europe. The people who have become big fans of our show over there. You remember being there, and Can there they are just tons. To people? Can they they're talk watching to right now. Sure. They're they're writing they're writing to us in the comments oh, page. So I you can yeah, we, okay. we'll, we'll 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 send you that so you can read all the comments. But they say Yvonne, you were with us in California for one of the last sing alongs that we did before this whole pandemic shut down. And yeah. uh, you've really you know you've been doing a lot of these with us now. Tell us a little bit about your experience. Uh, you know you know forty seven years later now. Uh, with the fans that you meet after the movie and meet before the movie and sit with you, uh, you know, about this film. I mean, I mean, this, it's still going on, you know, as strong as ever. Seriously. And, and I think the, the, uh, the you know, the, the faces that they give me or that I see, they're still the same faces. That, they're just faces of awe. <laughs> they're just such an awe. And, and I'd like to, I kind of like to bring them down a little bit and, you know, hold them and say, you know, it's okay. And we're all the same and all that stuff. But, you know, you get this kind of, this kind of thing where this, this aura is around you and it's, Teddy probably gets it big time. Um, and I like, I like for people to just treat me normally because that's what I am, just a normal, normal Yvonne. Um, I'm waking up, give me a break. That's a hard question. Um, <laughs> Hold up, Yvonne, here, the, the thing is this, all, all these folks, all these fans have grown up with you over the last 47 years. So obviously meeting you for the first time is, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a shock, you know? I mean, it's really cool to be able to say hello and give a hug yes. to a, a person that literally was there for the good times and the bad yes. times. Yes. So, well, um, it's hard, you know. It's hard to, to, to ingest all of that because they're looking at you and they're crying and they say, I am so emotional for you, you know? And this is in Italy, right? And they just, they just lose it. And, and, uh, and I, I have to smile and I love it, but 
then again, it's, um, it's such a, it puts you on such a pedestal, you know, that sometimes you just want to get down and hug, you know, and say, you know, let's, let's, let's go have a drink together <laughs> or something. Um, it's, it's difficult being sort of in a position of, of that kind of esteem um, after all these years, you know, after all these years. Am, do I need to do that, Frank? Seems no, no, you're great. That's just me. <laughs> All right, do we have uh, a couple more of your uh, co-stars, Tessa? We love it. Yes, we do. Please, let's bring them in, let's party. In. Knocking on the door. <laughs> who do we got? <gasps> we, got oh. those, we got those guys who uh, did their job to get rid of that guy <laughs> who wore the white gown all the time. All right, all right, we gotta get here, let me get the, uh... look at that, look at that. Whoa. Somebody's at your window. Well, they will be here shortly. <laughs> Did we lose the high priests? Oh, no chance of that. <laughs> there he is. Oh. There's the low priest. <laughs> <laughs> Where's good Caiaphas? Hi. There he I'm is. here. Hello. You got me now? Oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. I had to step out and get a cup of coffee. I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bert Yodge and Bob Bingham, hey, happy hey, anniversary, guy. guys. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, everybody. Hey, yes. Hey. Hello. Normally my nap time here. <laughs> that, that's right. There you go. Mid-afternoon naps are the best at our age. Yeah, and <laughs> Yvonne just got up over in Hawaii. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Hey, everybody. Uh, Hi, Yvonne. Hi, nice sweetheart. What? What? What time is it there in Hawaii? It's like 10.26. Oh, nice. Just, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's early it's for lovely. me. It's beautiful. Ooh. So, Kurt, Kurt, Bob, so let's start with you, Kurt. Uh, tell us a little, we've been talking about it. To every, I've been asking everyone, when was the first time you actually saw the film? Were you, did you go to a premiere? Did you sneak into a movie theater? What was the, the, the first reaction when you saw it? I, I can't, I was not at that first uh, screening. That was, was that out in LA? Did you see it in LA, Teddy, when you first yeah. saw it? Yeah, I or did. You saw it with your mom and all? Oh, yeah. Because I saw it in New York. Um, well, we saw some rushes when we went back to do post-production just before they released the movie and they wanted to fix mm -hmm. some of the sync on uh, some of the audio tracks for Bob and I and all of us. And we saw some rough cuts then. I saw some full scenes, you know, rough edits. But uh, I saw the, uh, man, I can't, uh, you know, God, I'm getting that. I can't really remember the <laughs> very first time I saw it. What about you, Bob? Do you remember? I'm, I'm trying to think while you guys are talking. I, I think the first time I saw any of it was uh, when I was in England, when I was dubbing it in French. I can't remember the first time I, I saw it. Um, it may not have been in the theater. Yeah, it may have been a couple of years ago. It's when you guys caught up with me. So, so for a little bit of tr uh, superstar trivia on the French ver version of the film, the only original cast member on there doing his role is Bob Bingham. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, yeah, I believe so. We had one English guy, uh, uh, Mike Wade. I think he might have been in the original on the Brown album. Um, he was, he played Peter, uh -huh. but I think that was the closest we had to it. Who? Mike Wade. Do you remember him, Yvonne? Mike Wade? No, no, I don't remember him. Mike Wade. He must have been British, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he played Peter. You know, I never did. I never got to meet anybody while I was recording that album. Right, you didn't meet any of the background singers, right? We never met, and when Bob and I were doing our stuff in the studio at El at Air there in London, we huh. never met any of the that big the big choir, all those British singers right. who were singing yeah, the background yeah. parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, I got to meet Ian Gillian later, later. Yeah, later. For sure. and so before that, did you ever just... meet uh, Victor Brox? Later, yeah, yeah. I did meet him later, but it was not, we didn't do anything in the studio ever. We didn't, you know, nobody was hanging around like, you know. Right. Uh, you go and do your thing and that's all I did. It was just a quick way to make a, you know, make a hundred bucks. A <laughs> hundred pounds. <laughs> oh my God. Just another job, right? 
Yvonne. Yeah, half of 1% or 100 pounds. So I took 100 pounds, of course. Of course. There you go. <laughs> so, Kurt, I, I remember whenever I was in London doing the, the, the post recording. Yeah. Right next door in the same studio complex, McCartney and his newest band at the time were rehearsing for the tour they were about to go out on. And Wings, they, right? They did a preview. How about that? And watched. It was great. You know, when I went to see McCartney recording something with Linda, yeah. and I walked in and he started singing, I don't know how to love him. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That, that blew my mind. He oh, actually he peeked, in, he peeked in the window when we were doing the French version. Wow. We were doing it at the same studio, That's right, I think. At, we went to Pinewood. They took us to Pinewood Studios to see them. They, uh, Paul, then when they were uh, like videotaping a, a, a performance that they were going to, I don't know, ascend by satellite to some, it was like some world event that they were going to try for the first time. And we, I remember us watching them uh, filming the, the live concert that they were going to do. Do you remember yeah. that? Or am it, I making it, this they up? They were actually going to send it to the moon. That's what That's they, right. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> ah. right, honey. My honey did it. Oh, good. Hey, hey, everybody. Did you, uh, Bo uh, Bob and I were hooked up, got hooked up with the uh, Caiaphas and Annas, who did the the show last night, the first Hold on, public hold on. performance yeah. in London of Jesus Christ Superstar <laughs> in Regent's Park. Yep, yep. And um, uh, it was the the first major event in there uh, in that outdoor. Uh, theater they have. I guess it's like an amphitheater, like the Delacorte Theater in New York. And um, I I haven't, I, I would think maybe if I looked at Variety, maybe we might see some some reviews or something. It, I saw the one guy showed us some rehearsal clips of uh, one of the dance numbers and every dancer had their own separate platform that they danced on. We, we saw like that clip, Bob, there were maybe six or seven dancers and each one was on their own uh, different leveled and spaced apart like eight by five foot piece of weird shaped plywood or something, but rigidly built. But, yeah, uh, all, all the stage direction also was one way. You, you, you can't, you can't go back good. and forth. You enter the stage on one side and her stage left, exit <laughs> stage <Going> right. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, it it sounds uh, pretty amazing what they were going to try and do. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, I'm going to connect with the big computer, OK? So if I That's what we have, uh, Yvonne, Yvonne I, I see you. So I'm going to admit you. You just have to get out of this one, OK? Oh. OK. Can you get out of the phone one? I'm sorry. Yeah, because it'll be like two at the same time. There you go. There there you go. go. Yeah, OK. So okay. just checking to audio, there you are. Hang up. Hi, Tessa. Hi, Kurt. How are you? You look so beautiful, good darling. Thank you. Thank you. So do you. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, you know. Oh, yes, you are <laughs> definitely beautiful, Kurt. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Come on. Okay. Uh, but okay. Yvonne, hey. okay, Yvonne I, I removed you, so you're good. I'm yeah, here. Right. Can you hear me? Can you, you hear me? All your beautiful faces. We yes, hear we can hear you. Oh, I'm so Yvonne. happy that you guys are able to join us. Thank you. Here I am. Oh, much okay. better. Oh, yeah, girl. Yeah. yeah, hey, Yvonne, I see some little work in there behind you. Looking <laughs> yeah. good, girl. He's a Mr. Fix-It. Let's fix everything. <laughs> hey, Bob, hey, Kurt. Oh, good to see you. Really hey, great hey, to see you. <laughs> I don't think she was able to see you on her phone before. That's why. <laughs> Tessa, how's no, that hey, room looking? How's I, that I, room looking? I'm so bad at this. We got some more people waiting. How about I bring in a couple more? Sure. Right, Absolutely. You ready? Who do you yeah. guys have coming up yeah. next? We're expanding. Can we guess? Yeehaw. Here we go. Okay, no. I'm, thanks, honey. Oh, I love you. Troublemakers are coming uh -oh. in. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, my God. <laughs> more chocolate. <laughs> He's more chocolate. Hello, Hello. Hey, baby. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy crackers. Wow. We must have done the film when we were like three years old. Yeah, black crackers. 
That was a that was a um, 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 Negro League baseball team out of that Atlanta. That was a baseball team. That's yeah. so funny. That's yeah. great. It's yeah. funny, but then it's not. You know what I mean? Josh, can yeah. you do it? Larry? How you doing? How you doing in up. Israel? Huh? It looks like Josh is in Israel. He's in the sun. He's done <laughs> yeah, Josh. Where is he? <laughs> I'm in Maine, Monhegan Island. Hey, oh, my yeah, God. It he must is. be beautiful there. How you it's doing, nice. Josh? It's a little cold, actually. Ah, can, well, you, can, you, can you do yours horizontally so we can see a broader look of you? No. no. Okay. He's no on his everybody, everybody's asked for that. Here, but you can see my... Uh, oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's lovely. That's a nice baby. Right. Beautiful. 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 And I can go upside down. <laughs> good. Oh, I remember yeah, that. I just want to be sideways. I can't go just keep the camera on your face, okay? Okay. Very talented. You walked on water in Israel. I saw you. Very, very talented. <laughs> he can't do it anymore. What a location, man. We got. It was to actually work. vodka. It was, <laughs> we got to work in some of the greatest locations. I mean, I, I'm still amazed when I really think back and remember some of the long moments of, of those incredible locations we were. Your Amazing. number, you know, when I think about Simon's number, that to me was one of the, obviously, I think the hardest dancing number for the dancers. Because I know they would sweep the desert as much as they could, but you guys, they had, you were doing that number in little thin-soled, you know, moccasins or something, right? I, and, and that... It, that, it was let's, treacherous out there. Yeah, jazz, let's, jazz let's, shoes. Let's not speak of it being 105 degrees. Yeah. Plus, well, we all did that. We all were out there. That was on a cool day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember but, 120 degrees. That's what I remember. But dancing yeah. that intensely yeah. on that rough, rocky, what, do you, you remember that? Did you get cut? I, I, well, no. I remember being on the, on the I, that's the only number that I got to actually move in. To, you know, I couldn't dance. I mean, I, would, I didn't dance with groups. I did my own thing, you know, but they had me do the stuff, choreograph stuff, and so you could see me only from the waist up, trying to keep up with everybody. And um, ah, yeah, ah, no, it was it was very, it was very difficult, very hot. And Larry, you were wonderful because you were very funny, you know, as as you still are. But I mean, you just kept the it kept everybody oh, laughing yes. and yeah, well, happy. Larry, you you were the, well, unbelievable. unbelievable. And I love I love the string of saliva that you see when you're going ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, 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 that me out only because the first day of shooting, which was just traumatic for me because sure. because I was uh, we were around the getting lunch. I mean, we were getting breakfast. Remember those uh, the breakfast bacon, we had bacon, with bacon. The bacon in there and all that. Kind of stuff. Oh <laughs> man, that took a while to get used to. I'm Tuna just, fish and sardines was yeah. for breakfast too. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. 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 I'm crazy. I'm crunching, on this, fish. I'm crunching on this stuff, man, and I'm crunching and I'm, I'm going, wow, this is really crunchy, and I'm crunching. <laughs> and I can, you know, I go, and my tooth, I had eaten this tooth over <laughs> it. Yeah, and, and it had oh, never no. hurt me in my life. I didn't know anything about it. All of a sudden, I got this gap, and I'm thinking, oh, Jesus, I'm going to have to now get out here and sing and show all this. It, it was awful. <laughs> it was terrible. It was awful. I didn't know how you knew about that. The yeah, things we learn, you know, 47 years later. The yeah, first, first day of shooting, of, of all, of the whole film. <laughs> but remember, we used, we used to have to go out on the, on the beach and, uh, and tan so that there wouldn't be any uh, differentiation, Headlines. coloring, yeah, while they shot. You know, so we, it was about two weeks. Remember, I said we'd go and lie, we'd go and lie down out in the sun and then, in that, then come back and then start doing the dance rehearsals. Wow, I didn't know you had to do that. Yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. We used to lay out in the sun for, I think it was about two and a half weeks. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they brought, you guys had already been shooting. When they brought Bob and I, you, uh, like the dancers and uh, uh, Teddy and Yvonne, I think you'd already been there two weeks, two and a half weeks. And yeah. they brought us in for like a week for us to get, you know, Get some color and you know get accustomed to the climate and. Uh, so what did Carl do all this time? Because certainly they didn't have him go out in tan. Because I mean that you know he was no, so no, beautifully but, colored. <laughs> in the no, movie. but that's what they said. You got to get used to it because, you know, we never wore makeup. Uh, right. I, uh, only after I came up from our our diving experience and both of my eyes looked <laughs> like, well, yeah. I had come up too fast. Do you remember? Oh, wow. I remember. 
Did you go? Oh, did you go scuba diving crawl, too, Teddy? Like, oh, I remember so going through a school of, of little animals that bit me as I as I swam through it. Brrr, all the bites, I like did? tiny little, little uh, no, like jellyfish. I think little jellyfish yeah. would bite you. Oh my! It was God. really something beautiful. The Red Sea, man. I loved it. Sight, that loved it. Did you go too, Teddy? Yes. Scuba yes. diving, you did? And I went diving together. I, I, I went snorkeling. Snorkeling. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, we yeah. snorkeled down in, in, in uh, Erat. You remember we went down to Erat? Yeah, in Erat. That's right. Norman took us down to Erat, the Gulf of uh, Aqaba. Yeah, Aqaba. yeah. And did scuba diving. Great. It scuba. was spectacular. And we watched, we would watch. I remember he was, somebody kept pointing out, well, at one moment, like the Jordanian planes, the military planes would fly down their half of the Gulf of Aqaba. And then a couple of minutes later, the Israeli planes would fly back on the other half of the, because that Gulf was split right down some imaginary line there. Because uh -huh. we were so close to Jordan at that point, you know. Oh. And because they had just had one of those wars that we shot the movie in between was of the war between Jordan and, and Israel. That's the and, war and, that, the, that the hairdresser left in the middle of the night because he heard the bombs going off. So we had no hairdresser really? for a while. Yeah, yeah, he split. He was like, I'm gone. Oh. I, was there, I was there for both wars. I was there in oh, 60 really? and then the one in 73. What were, what were, you, what were you there doing, doing in the 60s? I was doing Porgy and Bess with the Habima what? National wow. Theater. And had, yeah. Where were you performing? We performed all over. Uh, I, we had a, uh, we stayed. We had I had an apartment shared with a good friend of mine. I went to school with uh, in um, in um, in uh, uh, Tel Aviv, and uh, we would run out and do things, you know. And so yeah. it was a uh, Habima. Why did they choose Israel? I, was, I mean, and then I was understudying. You know, Bob. You remember Bob Guillaume Benson? Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Bob. Oh, the great Robert Guillaume. Yes. Come on. Yeah, he was the sport in life, and I was the understudy at that time. Oh my God. And, uh, <laughs> was yeah. it a Jack O'Brien production? No, 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 it was Ella Gerber. Guys, was, uh -huh. it was I, I, Gerber production. I don't mean to interrupt the, the stories, but uh, again, I want to toast to you guys. Happy 47th anniversary to all of you guys. Wow. Uh, you have a couple of more of your Dude. first. Mm. Are waiting in the waiting room. We're going to bring them in right now. Ready, Tessa? Come on. Ready? Get All right. Guess? Well, who do you have? Guess? Who do you have? Any who guesses? Who's, who's, the, who's that? Hey, Josh. Yo. You look fabulous, man. Josh. <laughs> you look fabulous. Hey, Josh, you yeah, king. brother. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, Rob. Rob Iscope. Oh, oh, my Lord. goodness. Oh, and who's no. that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? David James. The, the oh my God, David! <laughs> I've been listening to you talk about uh, dancing in the desert, Larry. Uh, I can't remember oh, well. Oh, for heaven's sake! Oh, Hi, Rob. Oh, God. <laughs> and what, uh, what, what's his name? Busted. Yeah, brother. Thank you. I'm Rob and David. Right? James. Yeah, David. yeah. David James. Hi, Rob. Hey, Tessa. Uh, Hi, David. Hey. Hi, guys. My you know, it's really God. good when, when somebody can look at you and they know who you are without, like, somebody telling you that's so-and-so. You know you're doing good. And I recognize you immediately, David. You're looking great, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Rob, look at you. Look at the red hair. <laughs> yeah. As long as I've got the red hair. <laughs> Did you ever you, have you, hip problems? Did you ever have hip problems, you know, um, later guys, in life I, that, I have that, a that got you? Yes, I, I have a oh, when, when somebody can look at you and they know Somebody's you. mic is on uh, that's bringing in a lot of ambient something we don't want to hear. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Go ahead, David. David, David what were you saying? David James. Oh, look at you. Look at the red hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the same. Oh, it's somebody else. Somebody's watching it on another computer, and we're hearing the delay broadcast from a Facebook page somewhere. So, Rob, if, if, so, if you, Rob or you or David have it on Facebook, if you could turn the volume off. I don't know if you have it or not. Yvonne, do you have the volume on? I'm on Zoom. Uh, I don't have but, but, but Alan just turned his yeah. Yeah. Okay. How's that? Better? We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. No problem. Oh, hey, I have, I have a confession to make. What's yeah. that? The, um, oh, it's somebody else. Somebody's watching it on another computer, and we're hearing the delay broadcast <laughs> oh, on Facebook. Page. Okay, um, this is um, this is about Yvonne's story. Yes, um, with um, the hairdresser leaving in the middle of the night. 
but yes. Yeah. Right. Well, on that night, the, the jets were buzzing over our head. You couldn't see them because they were flying, flying in, in, in without lights. But you could hear the bombs dropping in Jordan. Wow. And the hairdresser said to me, I, How I'm are sorry, we ever going to get out of there? Are they going to like, we're going to be stuck in the war? And I said, no, don't worry about it. You won't be able to fly out, but they have a big boat in the harbor and they put big guns on it. So they'll take us out on the boat. Oh, right. <laughs> and he's gone. And he like, goodbye. Did you know that for a fact? Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Lord and have Norma, mercy. Norma Jurison, Norma Jurison said to me, what did you say to him? <laughs> no, said, well, okay. Thank God there's lots of ladies on the crew who can do hair. <laughs> oh, you know, Carl Anderson and I used to, from Beersheba, used to go to Jerusalem and we used to have to uh, wait on the old Arab road uh, until they, uh, we had a sharut and you had to wait until there were six cars in order to travel. And as you get ready to travel, they, yeah, they would put a half track tank in front and a half track tank behind. And then they had those spotlights like, you know, for the Hollywood openings. And then as we went along, they would scan the hills looking for oh, snipers. Yeah. We oh my goodness. It was I amazing. I remember a couple of escorts we had. It was, I mean, we, we were there in the middle of, I, I had never seen bombed out tanks and half tracks and stuff off the side of the road. I, I yeah. remember seeing a lot of war debris. That was a war before. Kurt, Kurt yeah. and Bob, do you remember when you were shooting uh, Then We Are Decided? In the middle of shooting your number, there were two guys with machine guns that came up over the hill and we, we stopped and we had no idea what was going on. We thought they were going to attack or something. And we <laughs> shut the production down for like 20 minutes or half an hour. And then we, we discovered that they were just from a neighboring village and they were just looking for something and they then went on their way and we went back to film again. They should have I don't, think, would be a nice I don't think Norman told us that. I think he kept that from us because I don't remember that at all. I remember seeing a lot of people, both Arabs and Israelis, carrying guns. You saw that all the time. They all were allowed to carry. Those are real and, guns? Yeah. Yeah, and Bob and I <laughs> went to... Uh, we got permission to go to Hebron, which was a very volatile, volatile place at that time. I think we had robes on. We, and uh, we had, uh, they, everyone, like the, the Bedouins were allowed to carry their rifles that they traveled with. This was outside of like, you know, when we, I guess we were in Beersheba and um, uh, going to that incredible market. Did anybody go to the big camel market there? In yeah. Oh, yeah. Those oh, market. you could yeah. buy a camel. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got sold for 10 camels. Do you remember doing Hosanna, Hosanna, the, the, the Israeli tank corps was practicing down in the valley yes, and blew yeah. up the side of the hills while we yeah. were? Yeah. Yeah. We're holes on the ground. Come on, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. You so, can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> we were, <laughs> were, we, were we in danger at any point? I was oblivious, totally. I yeah. never felt in danger. I never oh, felt. Neither did I, yeah. No, but I were we? You got used to it. But were we? Right. Do you think, Rob, do you think, or David, do you think? We were. I'm sure Norman hid some things from us, but I don't know. I remember one time I was was between scenes, and I just went for a walk out in the desert in my speedos and sandals, and they came after me and scolding me because I shouldn't have been out there by myself. Oh, they couldn't find me anywhere. They got nervous, I guess. Yeah. Yes. I was just out enjoying the sun. No, I, I honestly do not think we were in, in any danger. Hey, no, you I, don't think, I don't think we were either. Can I, can I just interrupt really quick? I'm so sorry. Somebody has a Facebook Live going on right now at the same time, one of you guys, and we can hear the sound echoing. So can you just uh, mute whatever you have if you're watching a Facebook Live? Let me double check. It might be me. Okay, just, just mute the Facebook Live um, sound on Facebook so we can hear an echo. Good. Yeah, good. Can I, can I just interrupt really quick? I'm sorry. Yeah, how do you get it off? Somebody has a Facebook Live going on right now at the same time. 
Facebook Live. Going we, I, on we can now. hear Tessa right now talking what she yeah. just did. You mute the right. Facebook just, audio. Uh, mute. Yeah, so just turn the sound down on Facebook whatever you're watching page. Facebook on. Yeah. Okay, just, just mute the Facebook Live um, Anyone? sound on Facebook so we can hear an echo. Good. Yes. All right, we're going to, let's, let's carry on. Uh, okay. If we can, uh -huh. so carry as, on as the okay. as the fan. It works. Um, I want to ask Rob Isco of something. The Herod scene was is Josh Mostel as a, a good as good of a dancer as he says he is. <laughs> hmm. Well, except for that one lift. I think I, we almost killed a couple of dancers trying to do that one. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I don't know Josh was thinking of why I insisted you do it, but uh, thank God Norman <laughs> saved us all and uh, cut it out. Now, we now, had a close up of Pi on the piano while the lift was happening. Rob, for a scene like that, how long did it take to get? set up and, and for you to put together that dance number for um well we would we would be dancing every day we would do class every morning and when we weren't shooting we'd go off and rehearse and the only number we actually rehearsed in a studio or at that the ballroom at the hotel was the superstar number everything else we were doing on set there wow um, i worked with larry a little bit in the studio in london um, and just saw how he moved and tried to incorporate the way he naturally moved with what I did mm -hmm. with the kids. But um, that's hard to do. <laughs> Larry's got some moves, man. Larry's got some moves. Uh, what you forgot to say when we were shooting the number was so hot that the dancers weren't sweating. The makeup people would go ahead of the camera and spray them down so it would look like you were sweating because it evaporated that quickly. Right, right, I remember that. We all had to take salt pills, if you remember, because it was so hot that the salt would yes. evaporate from your body. And, yeah. in, and in between takes, someone would always bring up like little cups of Gatorade, little yeah, paper lemonade, cups yeah. of Gatorade. Yeah. They kept, yeah, we had to drink fluids mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, uh, David, yeah. I think and, and uh, yes, go ahead, Rob. No, I, th I think it was either with David or, or with, um, uh, a chick Watterson, the, the operator, that we had um, a bet going, and we don't think from the beginning to the end that Norman ever peed. <laughs> because he never left the set. We never saw him go to a honey wagon. He never went to a trailer. Nothing. Yeah, he was taking he was taking pills. Uh, you know. Now that's some inside stuff. There, let me tell you. <laughs> that's 